Hey, Gina. Hey, Jeff. Where are you? I am sitting inside our new embassy RV that we've named Grace. One of the biggest reasons we wanted to get an easy to drive RV is to be able to take anchor moments on the road and meet new people and give them the opportunity to share those special moments in their life that have anchored their faith. And guess what? We get to start it on day one. Yesterday, when Terry Minix was giving us a tour of our van and explaining all the fancy systems that he helped to engineer, he shared a really beautiful story that I think could help a lot of people. So why don't you introduce him? Okay, <laughs> let's do it. Well, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Terry. Well, like we say, you know, life throws things at us sometimes. Sometimes they're a little tougher things than you're used to handling. Mm -hmm. And I'm capable of handling some pretty tough things. But 13 years ago, I lost a wife of 22 years to a heart attack. And nobody can train you how to take that project on. It, it devastates you. I actually had blood blisters under my eyes from all the tears. I had to ask, ask the doctor what's happening. You know, so... You go through a lot of changes when that happens, including, you know, running businesses and things like that. So, and it was a bad surprise too. She was only forty-eight years 48 old. Forty-eight years old. She was three years younger than me. I thought I'd be the one, you know, that would go first because, you know, you marry a younger lady, you don't think you'll ever see that day. Yeah. So yeah. So, um, she worked with me every day. She was our purchasing agent. So we, luckily we got to spend a lot of time together and just adored life, you know, mm -hmm. together with our kids and everything. So, uh, you know, that's one thing that I like to share is don't spend time on the trivial things in life. You know, don't be arguing. If we would have been arguing that last day, that would have been that much tougher. Oh my luckily gosh, it was a beautiful yes. day. We had a spring party and just had a wonderful, wonderful day her last day on this earth so um in doing that i had a dream one night that i needed to start a ministry and the pastor that did her funeral had lymph node cancer and was not in a ministry at the time so he and i teamed up and started three cross ministry three cross yeah okay so we ended up with 120 people pretty quickly we started it in a whole building right next to my shop and okay. so that was unorthodox but I teach the kids basketball and buy everyone food for the morning so they'd stick around and talk and be oh, a yeah. family and it was just incredible. So we moved into a 25 acre facility and on Facebook I wrote a little caption of that and I was at my late wife's grave and I took great care of it and on my knees with tears in my eyes and said, God, you know, I just want to be happy again someday. Yeah. You know, because it was, everyone would try to fix you up with people, and some of them were scary people. <laughs> <laughs> like, stop that. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> and you lie a lot. Yeah. You say you're okay, you're really not okay, but everyone asks you, and you say, I'm okay. But that's a lie. You're, you're right. really just trying to get through the day, you know. So while I was on my knees with tears in my eyes and just hoping for happiness again someday and asking for it, I got a text amen at that moment from a lady I dated in the 10th grade in Fort Lauderdale that we grew up there. She was 14, I was 15. And she was texting amen for the caption I put in about the new church we moved into, the 25 acre facility. And I text back, you won't believe what I was just asking for because I knew she had lost her fiance a year after Kelly passed Aww. and went through the same thing I did, but we had never talked each other we just knew each other were mm -hmm. in the same position and so we kept texting a little on Facebook and because I build these beautiful vehicles and I was able to drive one of my Mercedes demos down and I always go down to Florida to visit my brothers to get away and so I was going down I said well I'll stop in Valdosta and take you out on a date and so we did that and talked like we never quit talking and and then I went down to my brother's to go fishing, and at night, about 3 in the morning, I was in my van because I sleep in my van. Not mm -hmm. in, he's got a beautiful house, but they board pets, so 
Um, and at about three in the morning, I had a cross made with uh, Kelly's name on it and both of our wedding rings on it. And I said, God, would you please give Sandy a hug and let her know I had a good time. And five minutes later, I get a text saying I woke up with a chill and wanted to let you know I had a good time. And I said, you won't believe it. Oh! <laughs> so I drove six hours back to Vagas, Georgia, and took her out on another date. And three months later, we ended up getting married. Oh. You know, our hearts were both severely broken. And we know oh. that nobody's promised tomorrow. But I believe truly that God wants us to be happy in this life yeah. on this earth. And we just have to find our way sometimes, and it's tough. We have to find our way back somehow. And he, he helped me find it back. Wow. Wow, that's yeah. a beautiful anchor moment. Yeah, it's those times that you really can't explain. I mean, three in the morning, who texts on a second date? You, you've only had one date. Who texts, you know, at three in the morning, hey, I had a good time, yeah. you know? Exactly. That's, I mean, it's and just... just right after you prayed like that? Wow. So I told my brother, no fish in this trip. Found us <laughs> Georgia. I got my sign. I'm I'm on the road again. So that's part of the beauty of these vehicles that helped me experience that part of that moment, you know. Um, so it was I may not have got that second chance, you know, without having one of these beautiful vehicles to travel with and do. Now granted uh, as I was heading down there, I said, well, I'll stop at a campground and cook you some food. And she just says, no, why don't you meet at a public place? So at, <laughs> at that moment, I figured, well, she thinks I could be a perv after yeah, all these you years, never know. you know. You so never know. She, was, she was being safe, which uh -huh. was yeah. good. Smart. And, but, you know, it's part of the story that, you know, she never had children. Uh, we have grandchildren now that call her Mimi, and they Aww. just adore her, and she adores them. And that was her blessing that she always wanted that she never thought she would experience and and the Aww. grandkids know her as mimi and she, it's they never met kelly so wow so yeah. yeah so for the grandkids that is grandma yeah and the only grandma yeah wow yeah wow that is so, a beautiful we have an story. older grandson that is our is kelly's daughter uh and he was able to spend a lot of time with us and kelly but yeah okay but the younger ones, they only know me. me. Oh. Yeah. Wow. That is a beautiful anchor moment story. Thank you so much, oh, Terry, absolutely. for sharing that with us. Yeah. Uh, you know, find your way, find your happiness, you know. Don't dwell on the things that drag us down. And there's a lot of it trying mm -hmm. to. And that's the devil trying to put his hand on us, I believe. But... You know, you have to find your way out of those dark moments, and there are beautiful, happy moments around the corner. You just have to really work at it and look up and ask for help once in a while. Yeah, and ask, and you had mentioned. And I'm to not me, good at that. Yeah, <laughs> that your pastor said that. Well, you finally gave up control, and yeah. You know, I'm the guy that's always behind the scenes fixing things, and that's what I did for the ministry. I wasn't. I never read a Bible before. They had to show me at Bible class how to get to the Bible and stuff. and But I loved being behind the scenes and making sure everything was okay. And that mm -hmm. baptism day that the water was right. And, and that was my part of that mm -hmm. thing. Is I just I needed something to keep me busy. I hated going home. Yeah. Home mm -hmm. was not a happy place for a while. Mm -hmm. The last child to move out wasn't our child. We took in a girl. Oh. Yeah. Wow, and adopted somebody. Yeah, she we she was the last child to move out. Her other children were already out, and Kelly worked hard at finding her a place to move into so we could have the house to ourselves. And we only had it for about a month. Oh, yeah. And uh, you just don't know. And she, yeah, you don't. You know, she had a heart attack at forty-eight. What yeah. woman has a heart attack at forty-eight? Doctors don't even look for signs. She of thought that. it was menopause signs. I learned a lot about that too. The Ladies' heart signs are not like the you same. see on TV and not mm -hmm. like guys. There is no pain in the arm. There is no mm -hmm. things that we know as heart signs. It's actually menopause signs. It's hot flashes and uh, things. She passed out behind the wheel one day and thought it was a menopause issue. Went to a lady doctor instead of a regular doctor. So that's the other part of the story is I didn't know the signs. And I don't think she knew the signs. She mm -hmm. knew she wasn't well. But we didn't know that. Wow. Yeah. Wow. 
Yeah, and so it's important too to da daily, your uh, once a year uh, doctor checkups, even while you're healthy, yeah. you know, so they can catch signs for things. And and the doctors don't always spend enough time with us anymore. You know, it's it's mm -hmm. a it's a financial situation right. now. And sometimes, and I tell the doctors when I walk in, you know, everybody's worth more than five minutes mm -hmm. of your time you know, to really see what's wrong with them. So sometimes there's something hidden back there that they need more than five minutes to figure that out. Yeah. Well, that's, that's another, that's just another tip right there too. And, uh, yep. And take care of yourself. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much, You're Terry, welcome. for sharing your anchor moments. And uh, if anyone else has an anchor moment they'd like to share, please put it in the comments below or reach out to us at anchormoments.com and contact us. And we'd love to capture your stories too. Have a great day and hold on to your anchor moments. Bye-bye. To see more videos like this one, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.